Hi everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Stardew Valley. Here we go. I am your host, Hisam Artwork. Let's see, so in my previous video, I showed you guys how you can use the cheat mod to increase the recipes. Although, usually I do this myself, um, just so that I like having new events come every day. But in order to condense it for these videos, I kind of have to do it like this, not befriend them and then increase with all of them a lot of the hearts so that uh, <laughs> when I do um, uh, the video, I have a lot of things for you guys to, to see. Uh, okay, these I don't think I'll need anytime soon. Uh, that furniture, I've been meaning to put it somewhere, but I just don't know. I'm just gonna throw it out for now, so I have room uh, to show you guys. Oh, so this is also, I wanted to show you, this is a strange capsule. You can get it if you play a hundred years um, on the on the farm. Um, where should I put this? put it here for now um, I use the the item spawner to get it so here it is uh, empty capsule and strange capsule so something is gonna break out of it <laughs> and go around the farm I've never used it before uh, hope is not gonna kill me <laughs> I'm not sure what it is what is there? Yams. Okay, I'm gonna have yams in a few days. And I love eggplants. I should have put more um, cranberries because cranberries are worth more than the eggplants, but I just did this for them in a rush. Um, never had time to do much. Um, do you, I have more bok choy seeds? No, I do not. And, uh, yeah, I suppose I should go and get some. Uh, I put my horse way too far. <laughs> He's all the way there, so I'm gonna uh, use the teleportation. Oh, it's closed on Wednesdays! Ah. Okay, let's assume I have more bok choy. <laughs> bok choy, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? Uh, yeah, I ate. Or let's pretend that I am an organized farmer and uh, <laughs> I did everything right. Usually I am, but on this farm I just did it for the videos and <laughs> it's just all over the place. Um, you will get... oops. Um, you will get a rerun of the recipes if you missed it. You already know how to make tortilla. Um, there was a mod that just came out and it will allow you to enable all of your recipes if you miss them which I think is really nice because there's always that one recipe that is very annoying and you always miss it uh, for some people it may be kind of a lifesaver uh, here is a expansion kitchenette for the kitchen on the ca uh, cabin I still have one uh, left uh, okay, let's see the, the beets. Uh, I just planted them yesterday, um, fortunately. Ooh, I finally have all of the giant crops. So happy about this. Awesome, I'm gonna make this my pride area. Uh, and as you can see, in the dark, I planted like a idiot. <laughs> I'm gonna get 10 beads for the quest. Let's say I bought them from <laughs> a supermarket and I'm cheating. Yeah, I, I got them from the supermarket. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, I, I can't even cheat, right? <laughs> One more. Beat. <laughs> I didn't count them at all. 
Okay, uh, so another thing I wanted to show you guys, the dinosaur. So, you can get this, mostly I got it from uh, fishing in the lake, but other people have gotten it from the mines. So that is a possibility. Okay, put it in the coop thingy, you know, the incubator. And I have a uh, instant uh, incubator. So usually it takes a very long time for these to hatch. It takes like a whole season almost. You think it's never coming out. But I used a uh, instant um, incubator cheat mod, so when I go in, I should get uh, a dinosaur. And I have it retextured as a turtle! So now I have a turtle dinosaur. <laughs> and his name's Ninja. And um, the treat basket does not work on him. You can exchange him for meat, uh, but it will probably give you like chicken meat or something. I don't know. I guess we can try it out. Um, let's see. Yeah, it gives you chicken. I'm gonna put it here. Oh, it gives you rabbit. Okay, so the dinosaur gives you rabbit meat. <laughs> and ignore these. I tried to make peacock feathers and it didn't. I'm still working on that one. It's a work in progress. Ninja the second. Because the first one got turned into rabbit meat. Yep. So that was it for the turtle mod. It's really awesome. I really love it. Uh, you can find it on Nexus. Uh, and I've also linked it on my blog. Okay, so I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna continue the... Um, uh, what is it called? The um, quest with the um, casino. Uh, I want to go to Linus's house and put 10 beets in his fridge. It's addressed to you. Last meal. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go now to the desert again. Uh, don't go to the casino, because then it will teleport you inside uh, the casino, and uh, you'll not be able to leave unless you teleport outside. Oh, where was it? Uh, solar essence. So dragons eat uh, the sun. No, it's hidden in its eye next to your house. So I have it retextured as a um, witch house. So this is why I always recommend you play the game first vanilla because any mods you have it will change stuff and uh, you might not be able to find it. So for example now I don't have a wood pile but if I touch around here I will get it. And there we go. Now I have the club card. And let's see if it will uh, let me go in or I have to wait a day. Um, when I did the video tutorial, um, compacted version, I had to wait a day before I was able to enter. So let's see if it's the same or can you enter now? Oh, 
Okay, so it seems now I can enter. Awesome! Maybe it was bugged when I did the quest, or they changed it up a bit. Anyway, I'm glad that it was a lot quicker to enter. He looks like a blue duck thing. Taste of the extraordinary. I like the way you're thinking. Now it depends on the rice. I really like basmati rice with butter and salt. I think it's delicious. So this is what you can get here from the shop. A bunch of paintings that I of course retextured already. Um, a hat, the top hat, hardwood fence, a uh, warp home farm totem. And you have this Q coin uh, currency here, and you can use it to play on these machines. Uh, there are tutorials online how you can have a profit from playing this. Uh, also, how to play this. Uh, I don't know how uh, Calico Jack is. I assume it's like Blackjack which I don't really know how to play either so I'm just gonna keep out of this uh, this is the lady on the TV that tells you your luck every day and another thing here is you can buy the statue of endless fortune which i really don't think is worth the money but a thousand gold oh okay. i don't have enough okay <laughs> and here it tells you what you've uh done monster slain Okay. Uh, I still don't have the skull key, so I'm gonna have to go to the mines. And I'm having a bad luck day, so I'm just gonna. Get some, let's see. Oh, and I think this is the flower pot that I took out. I was curious if I leave it outside if it will be destroyed or lost, but it seems it's in my inventory, so. Stairs. Uh, you can spawn these, you can make these. Um, you can get this, you can spawn the stone if you want. To cheat that way. Uh, here it is. It takes 99 stone, um, so I generally wouldn't recommend using it if you're playing vanilla. Uh, you're gonna run out of stone very quickly. And this is level 50, and you get the snow boots. Oh, thunder boots. Thunder boots. I'm sorry. Um, these little guys remind me of uh, Miyazaki's um, snow suits monsters. Unfortunately, you cannot go through these holes. Uh, I'm pretty sad about that. I was hoping uh, they would change that. So you would have gotten the Statue of Endless Fortune from that shady guy uh, at the casino. Which, personally, it doesn't feel like it's worth the money. I understand it was put there like other things to kind of have something for the players to spend their money on. And I'm gonna have to... get my combat up to date at some point because I'm gonna get completely eaten alive
Yay, so you get the crystal dagger at level 60, which I personally don't think is very useful. And also you can fish here, and the fish you catch, um, they're gonna be uh, here, and once you got all of the fish, you will get a uh, star drop. If you don't know what a star drop is, let me show you. So one of these guys, you'll get them from Willy. Um, there is a uh, cheat options in the CBG cheat uh, menu where you have instant catch on your fish. Um, let me show you guys because it's gonna take a bit long. But usually I play without it because I do enjoy the fishing. Instant catch, instant bite. I think I feel like it takes um, all the fun out of it. Oh, you get the the um, uh, treasure as well. So this is how it is to play with uh, um, the instant catch and instant uh, bite. It doesn't uh, make you ca um, get more rare fish, it seems. Oh, I got the ice pip. Okay, ice pip. Uh, there's also at level 20, I think, a certain fish that you need to catch. The stonefish, I think it's called. <laughs> uh, it definitely takes all the fun out of it. Maybe I should put some uh, something in there, like a. Was it bait from Linus? It attracts more fish. I retextured the CD so it no longer looks broken because I want to do a game room. Even with this one, it uh, takes a long time. You gotta be super patient with this, uh, it seems. <laughs> Come on! I, I mean, I, it is a unlucky day. Uh, let me see and what I can throw out. Lucky lunch. So this should help with that. I don't know if there's anything that gives you luck plus two, I'm not sure. <laughs> oh my god, it's so bad. Come on. Give me the stonefish. Yeah, so it's definitely a game of patience with the fishing. I've forgotten how... Uh, exhausting it was, I did it on the other maps, but today is just no luck whatsoever, and it doesn't seem... Oh, I have luck plus three! Wow, so lucky lunch, luck plus three, and I'm still not getting the stonefish, so either my mods are uh, breaking things, or uh, I'm, I'm not getting how this uh, luck thing works, so yeah. Thank you for watching, everyone! And um, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.